Hey everyone, welcome to our next edition of Book of Notes. And I'm so excited about this one. Uh, today we are just going to make a very textured background. Easy peasy. We just need some kind of book pages, magazines, newspapers, um, just old book pages that we've torn out of junk journals that we ha are repurposing, um, encyclopedias, dictionaries, old music, anything. Any kind of that can be used as part of this and a piece of tissue paper that I have wrinkled up. And we are going to use three colors. I want it to be kind of a cinnamony, cinnamon-like <laughs> cinnamon look. So I've got a like a bright yellow, um, crimson, and a brown here. And I have some matte Mod Podge, which I'm going to mix in here and make it like a glaze. So we'll do that in a second. But first, I'm going to just take some of these pictures and put them on the page. I love this one. I love, I don't know exactly what it is. It's something about bridges, but it's got all kinds of calculations and all kinds of um, illustrations on it. So I think that is really cool. And I love the fact that it says bridges. I think that's a really nice nice thing to have. So let me get a brush and I'm just going to brush some of this Mod Podge on the page first. Whoops, messing it around. And get a good coat of that on there. And then this is just a collage technique. Absolutely. If you haven't done collage before, this is this is how it's done. With Mod Podge or gel medium, whatever is used as the glue on the bottom and it's used as the glue on the top also. Also how you do decoupage. That's where Mod Podge got its name as a decoupage medium. So let me just get a little bit more and put that down. So that's pretty cool. Oops, obviously we need more in that area. And I love the, I love the thought about bridges. I really love that in what we are doing because we're always building bridges with our fellow human beings, aren't we, hopefully. All right, so let me see what else I want to put on here. I think a little bit of music would go in there kind of nicely. And it really doesn't matter. We could stop at that. I could stop right there with that piece. But I am going to go ahead and put this down. I just really want to get this whole page covered with something before I move on. So, I think I'll put that there. Just to give it some nice randomness. as we go on. And then the next step is really fun. I'm just going to take that tissue paper and I'm just going to lay it down over top of this, make some bumpy areas, make some smooth areas. And this is what's going to give us our texture. And if there's any little place that doesn't have where the Mod Podge is dried. Make sure you get some under there. So it will all stay down. The edges were dried, obviously. 
So I think that's going to have a lot of nice texture. And don't worry if there's little bubbly places. That's fine. Those will settle down when um, when we do that when it dries. And if you putz with tissue paper too much, it starts to tear. So let me get some water on here. Sometimes it starts to tear. If you put some water on, that will settle it down. And you can also piece it. If you tear some of it up, you can just bring another piece in and put it over the top. So anyway, I think we're, we are there where I want to be right at the moment. We can tear any of this excess off and we can trim it later. But for now, we can just tear those edges. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I think I need just a hair more of this Mod Podge. I'm just gonna take some of these colors and mix them together to get hopefully that nice cinnamon hue I'm after. I think that's pretty good right there. And actually we can we can do any kind of colors that you want. So I'm just going to come in here with my palette knife and I'm just going to get some different colors on here because I want this to be all variegated. I want it to have different kinds of colors. And it's okay if they seem too dark right now because we're going to fix that in two seconds. Whoops. An old washcloth. And kind of bring that in there and help this move around. I really don't want that bright red in there, but you can always come back and put some more dark or put some more yellow on there. And maybe I'll put some brown in there. And this is all about just making a mess. <laughs> Being messy and making a mess and seeing what you can create. You could use a um, baby wipe if you want on this part of knocking this paint back. And we want crungy, grungy areas in here. We want to see some of those bridge pieces. We want to see some of the words. Can you see where I'm going with this now? And at this point in time, you can just tear that tissue paper. Now that it's a little bit wet, you can tear that right off the edge. I use the um, matte Mod Podge so that it's not going to be too shiny because I want it to be more flat or matte kind of look because we've got a whole lot of stuff going on with the paper and the, and the paint. We really want the um, texture and we don't, I don't you could you could come in here and put gloss on there that would be fine if that's all you have certainly that is fine but I think we are doing really good right now and I am just going to come in and pour some more Mod Podge on the top of here just to kind of seal this now If you want, you can add a little water to that to make it move a little easier if it's getting sticky. And 
that just seals it all nicely and makes sure that all portions of that are stuck down well. And I kind of like to finish it all off in one direction. That's just a little bit of me. And of course, Mod Podge dries clear. So this is a little cloudy right at the moment, but it is going to dry perfectly clear. And when it does, I will scan it and I will put it on our page. I hope you all were finding the printables for day one and two. I gave you a bonus day because I really didn't have, didn't say I was going to do a printable for the first day, but I did. And so now we're going to have, this is our third printable background that we are creating here. And I better... Get these pages spread apart so they don't all stick together. I maybe should have protected that first. But anyway, I think you see where we were going with this. And it's going to be beautiful when scanned. I hope you can see all the texture and the life. The life that is in that page right now and I can't wait to show this to you so it will be on my website RebeccaEParsons.com under free printables so anyway get in your studios and play take 20 minutes make sure that you also do your readings for the day and I hope you're enjoying the tags and flags and all those wonderful things that are in the um, in the printables let me know I'd love to hear how you like it or if there's something else you'd like me to create let me know because I will certainly do that anyway I love you guys and may joy be with you all <music>